Okay people, this is himself. So we all know this move, Shoulder Charge. It skins Power Crush and it can Wall Splat. Now when it does splat, you get a heavy wall splat. But because King takes so long to recover, your options are limited. Against Bigs, you can get jabs. Against everyone else though, it's the Mincer. There is though an alternative. What we do is jump over into back turn 3. Now if they tech roll, then this hits them in the back. And from there, we get a mix up. Now because it's plus 9, DF1 is guaranteed. But for a bit more reward, go for a back throw. This is unbreakable even if they hit forward and you still get OK. Unfortunately, they can duck it, but to cover that, we have Hockney. This will launch them and do the same damage as a back throw. The only issue is they can hit forward and if they do that, then they can punish you. What that mix-up does is tempt people to stay down, but the mule kick can still hit them. If they back roll, then it's standing, and if it's a wake-up kick, then it's a launch. What they can do though is stand, that way they can block it, and then they can punish you. To cover that, we have drop kick. From my testing, this is also guaranteed on tech rollers, and even if it gets blocked, you won't take that much damage. It also low crushes the low wake up kick. The mid though will beat it. What all that means is the definitive way out is to side roll. Neither mule kick nor drop kick will catch them, and King doesn't have other options either. Now you may be thinking, surely this jump over works on other wall splats? Well, from my testing, it doesn't. With a heavy wall splat or a low one, tech rolling actually escapes. It's only the shoulder that gives the right spacing and the right timing. What all that means is the best place to use this is on a floor break stage. Here, if you get that back throw, you can do some serious damage, especially if you have rage. In fact, if you're interested in floor break combos, check out my video on it. There should be a card coming up soon and there's also a link in the description. As always, if you enjoyed this video, do drop a like. It really helps this channel and it motivates me to do more for this character. Looking ahead, there are more King Guides coming, so make sure you subscribe if you want to see those. In the meantime, have fun, play well and I'll see you guys in the future.